Welcome back. Josh, like we were saying, the Walleye are on fire, especially important heading into those playoffs. Yeah, well, the defending champions want to make it another one as we're down to the final couple weeks in the SIJHL regular season. And the Cam River Fighting Walleye aren't waiting until their final series to make their stamp on the postseason positioning. Last night, they hosted the Fort Francis Lakers at Norwest Arena, looking to extend their six-game winning streak. Picking up in the first period, Walleye relentless in the Lakers zone on the power play. Easton Debray over to Edwin Liang. He puts all his power into this one-timer, putting a hole through Lakers netminder Jack Orchard and in. Liang's fifth goal of the season coming on the power play, and the Walleye celebrate the early 1-0 lead. 30 seconds later, Fish still on the attack. Braden Duchesne behind the net, feeds his one in front to Carter Podubny, and he's not going to miss from there. Podubny's 18th of the season, coming just 30 seconds after the opening marker, and the Walleye jump out quick in this one, going up two to nothing. Second period now, Walleye up one following a Brody Lindahl power play goal. This one comes right out front to Duchesne, all alone, he fires it home. Duchesne restoring the two goal lead midway through the second as the Walleye go up three to one. Dying couple of minutes in the second, three to two Walleye now. Ryan DuPont with the steal along the wall, he holds it and hits Evan Lacamea, who goes up and over the mitt of Orchard and in. Lacamea's fourth of the season is a big one, giving the Walleye four in the contest. Four to three now in the third period, and it's Lacamea again coming up clutch for the fish. Caden Goodwin making his way to the net. The puck squeaks under Orchard, stays on the line, and Lacamea is there to tap this one in. His second of the game, as the Walleye would grab an empty netter, winning their seventh game in a row by a score of six to three. Yeah, well, I got to give all credit to my line mates on the two goals that I got. I had on the first one, I had Daps and Dax working their butts off in the zone. Daps ended up getting me the puck to get the first one. And then on that last one there, Goody had a beautiful shot. I just kind of tapped it in. So I got to give all credits to, the, to my line mates, and it was good rallying back to get the win. You know, maybe our schedule might be a little weaker down the stretch here, but that's where our group really needs to push from within uh, in the day-to-day. -day. Uh, we talk about, uh, you know, bringing our best each and every day we come to the rink. So it's really, it's got to be within the group, holding each other accountable. Again, the small little details, the work ethic that's gotten us to this point. The Walleye took over first place in the SIJHL with the win, passing the Sioux Lookout Bombers. They're back in action Friday when they host the Kenora Islanders for a three-game set.